everyone, I am Neharika and thanks for clicking. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to look at phrasal verbs related to clothing. Do you love clothes? Well, I totally love clothes. I'm a girl. So yes, I do love clothes. But in English, I have observed that many people, especially when they have to talk about clothing, the only two verbs that they end up using are wear and remove. I'll wear my red shirt, I'll remove my red shirt, uh, let me wear my best shoes. So it's just wear and remove and that's about it. But when you're learning English, wouldn't it be better to learn new words or new phrases that you can use related to clothing? Well, that's what we're going to learn in today's lesson. We're going to look at some phrasal verbs that would help you to talk about wearing clothes and removing them. So let's get started. The first one is dress up. Now, dress up, it means um, to wear the best dress or to just dress up the best. Now, probably you have... Uh, a date tonight. Yay, you have a date tonight. And you really want to dress up very well. You want to wear your best dress. Or if you're a guy, you really want to look good. You want to wear your best blue shirt that you have. So rather than saying, I'm going to wear my blue shirt or I'm going to wear a nice dress, use the phrasal verb dress up. I'm going to dress up really well for the date tonight. Okay, so dress up means to wear your best okay or to wear the best clothing the next one have on have on again means to wear a piece of clothing so rather than saying hey we are wearing the same clothes or the same color use the phrase have on well how would you use that Oh my God, we have the same shirt on or we have the same color shirt on. Okay, which means that we are wearing the same piece of clothing. All right, the next one, slip on. Slip on, uh, well, this is a phrasal verb that you can use um, to wear a piece of clothing uh, very easily. You know, there are a um, piece of clothing that you can use it or you can wear it very easily, like a piece of dress, okay? It's very easy to slip into a piece of dress, right? So you can use the phrasal verb slip on to wear something easily. Like uh, your flip-flops, okay? So this can be for clothes, this can be also for accessories, and it can be also used for shoes. So as I mentioned, uh, wearing flip-flops, it's very easy to slip on flip-flops, right? You just, you're, probably you are at the beach. Okay, hang on, let me slip on my flip-flops because you can wear flip-flops very easily. So rather than saying, oh, I'm gonna wear my flip-flops, you can say, I'm gonna slip on my flip-flops and then let's go to the beach, okay? Then the next one, try on. Well. Try on uh, is used especially when you go shopping. Women, you can definitely use this because women love shopping. Now, when you go to a store and probably you liked something, okay, maybe uh, some shoes or probably a piece of dress, okay, or maybe a nice tank top. And uh, before you buy it, before you're putting in a lot of money to buy that dress, why don't you try it on? So how would you do that? Well, you go to a trial room and see if it fits you well, see if it suits you. So before you buy something, you try on, okay? So try on can be used to wear something to see if it fits you or to see if it suits you. Okay, so I'm gonna try on this black shirt. 
okay maybe I loved this black shirt and I want to see how it fits me and if it looks good on me okay so I'm gonna try on the next one kick off okay now kick off this phrasal verb is specifically used for shoes okay and it means um, to remove your shoes quickly okay so like oh my god last night I was so exhausted I kicked off my shoes and I was off to bed so which means I quickly removed my shoes okay so rather than saying I quickly removed my shoes well I'm using the phrasal verb I kicked off my shoes which means that I quickly removed my shoes okay but remember this phrasal verb can be only used specifically for shoes okay the next one throw on now throw on is pretty similar to kick off but throw on is used for clothes okay but not to remove your clothes but to wear them so to wear something quickly okay like in the mornings okay you're too busy getting ready you have to rush to work so I just throw on a dress and I leave for work okay so throw on is to put a cloth uh, to put an item of clothing quickly okay so to wear something not to remove remember next one wrap up wrap up well, you know at times when you step out and you realize it's a little chilly okay you thought that it was not cold but yes it is a little chilly and probably you're just wearing a tank top and you feel a little cold so you wrap up yourself with a piece of clothing right so to wrap up is to cover yourself You go to a movie theater and you start feeling a little cold, okay, because of the air conditioner, okay, you start feeling a little cold and you get, oh, I wish I could have got something to wrap up myself, okay, so it means that I wish I would have got a piece of clothing to cover myself up, okay, and then the last one, put on, put on is used to wear something. Again, as I mentioned in the start that uh, all the English speakers and many of the English speakers only end up using wear and remove when it comes to talking about clothing. But then, you know, there's another phrasal verb that you can use when you tend to say that uh, I'm going to wear a red shirt. So rather than saying I'm going to wear a red shirt, I'm going to put on a red shirt. Okay, I'm going to put on these black shoes. I'm going to put on my earrings. Okay, so it actually means that you're going to wear them. Okay, so these are the phrasal verbs related to clothing. Start using them if you're not. Okay, avoid using the verbs uh, wear and remove. Not everything can be worn, not everything can be removed. Use this and trust me, you will be able to speak fluently. I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care and have a great day.